What's up, I Like Scary Man? I hope you guys are enjoying your day, man. I'm enjoying my day. Feels good to be a horror fan, man. But today, you guys, we'll be talking about an exclusive film location that has been kind of revealed, but it's also a rumor. Um, and I'm kind of blown away by this. Shout out to Craven Something Scary Man. Uh, his friend, I want to say his name is Chris, shout out to Chris also, gave him this awesome photo, man, of, I want to say it's Gail's porch with jack o lanterns on him, man. So you know what that means. Scream 6. This is just like, you know, it's kind of confirmed, but it's kind of not. Just take it with a, you know, the grain of salt. But, you know, it's jack o lanterns on her porch. And you know what that means, man. We have a Scream movie taking place during the Halloween season. This is out of this world crazy. Never thought I'd see it. I'm gonna share my thoughts on it and what I could think they can possibly do with this idea. And I feel like I have something that I actually do want to touch on. Also, that's kind of eh. But so, first off, as you see in this photo, man, it's Jack and Lanterns um, on Gail's porch, and you can't just say basically that oh, it's, it's fall time, and you know this is. It just fall time. This is gonna have to take place like sometime at least close to Halloween. We have jack o' lanterns on the porch, man. So I feel that it is kind of like a blessing, to be honest, to do scream on Halloween, bro. Like, cause I don't know about you. I remember back in the day, you guys. I used to dress up like Michael Myers um, as a trick-or-treater, but I always used to dress up like Scream. It was that costume that was always just there. You know, remember the pump? The heart pump with the blood comes down the mask. Um, it was just a, a easy access costume to get, and it was easy to put on and stuff like that. So with that being said, I can picture them having trick or treaters dressed up <coughs> like Ghostface, dressed up like Ghostface. Also, you see, you know, it's taking place in New York, uh, Montreal, Canada, and you know, it's they're in school, they're in college and stuff. Um, so what if they had basically decided to do like a Halloween college party? This is something that just will blow my mind. Scream 6, Halloween college party. Everybody knows he's the legend, the myth around that area, Ghostface himself. So what if people try, you know, to just put on Ghostface costumes, but Ghostface actually comes, you know, him, they, she, or them, whatever you want to call it actually comes into the party and he's like stabbing people up literally like on some like a prison movie stuff like literally just shanking them you know like shanking them in the party oh my god that will be out of this world crazy yeah just have them stab somebody in the party you see everybody disperse run downstairs and you see all these ghost faces running just picture this you guys you just see the actual ghost face is just walking through the party slowly because he has no reason to run it's numerous ghost face and it's like you know what I'm saying? Like, it would be so crazy because, bro, Ghostface, all costumes of Ghostface look the complete, like, it's just the same look. So it would be crazy to see something like that happen, man. And, you know, he or even, man, I don't know what, like, just think about this. Halloween 2018, we see Myers comes down the stairs, he runs into the trick-or-treaters. Right after he does, he goes downstairs or whatever. But I think that'll be too close to 2018. People would kind of say that they're biting, but just picture that someone runs into him, maybe, you know, a little ghost face, or maybe in the freaking party, people are dressed up like Michael, giving a, you know, a hat tip off to Michael Myers himself, because this is his day. I know people call Ghostface the icon of Halloween. Nope, stop right there, he's not. Um, I will go to war over that, he's not the face of Halloween. Um, stick to skyscrapers and, um, you know, neighborhoods and whatever you want to call I know I sound probably kind of stupid. Stick to college campuses. Halloween is Michael Myers Day. Trick or treaters, leaves blowing. Um, you know, that's Michael. So, to speak about that, also, I feel like the radio silence, they have something going. Don't get me wrong, you know, it's different. Um, but they have to be careful with this because it's not going to be critics or nothing, but fans, some fans, could possibly you know say negative things about the situation with them being you know going to take the place with Halloween because like that's Michael's stomping grounds 
Halloween, that's the name. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying anything's wrong with it, but just you gotta really be, you gotta do it to a, a point to the T, and it doesn't look nothing like Halloween. You know, that's all I have to say that's kind of uh about it. But I think it's cool just because with the, the, the tools is giving them what they can use, basically. Like, we can go back to Scream 2. Uh, we can see, we already seen kind of a glimpse of how they, you know, they, they went about having numerous ghost faced in the area. They were in a movie, Jada Pinkett Smith. As you guys remember, Omar Epps, everyone went to the, you know, the premiere of Stab. They had the mask on. Omar Epps gets killed in the bathroom, comes back, she thinks Omar Epps the whole time, it's Ghostface, he stabs her up, and they're thinking like, yeah, they're going, they think it's like an inner, like, you know, they're reenacting the same whole time, she's really dead. So, man, this is crazy, think about it. So, Scream 1 is technically like the Scream 5, right? And Scream 2 is Scream 6, so I can see them trying to, like, kind of plant, pan, like, you know, some to respect the Scream, to like, are we gonna put enormous of Ghostface in the Halloween party, like, you know, but we're not still in that idea of Jada Pickett being in the theater. We just want to do it our own way in the party. Numerous ghost faces, someone gets stabbed up in the party. And you know, everybody just runs out. And you, it should have like a nice scene, like with the leaves at the top. You just see ghost face. You know how he has the cape under his arm. Everybody's just running. And you just see the one ghost face just walking, not bother. Just goes into the darkness somewhere. You know what I'm saying? But it would just be crazy because I know they will definitely try to use that tool of having numerous people, you know, dressed like Ghostface. It's only right to do that. Like, that, it, that has to be done because it's just... Ghostface has a per like everybody likes Michael Myers. Don't get me wrong, I'm, that's my favorite franchise of all time. But with Ghostface, everybody loves the costume because it's so simple with the white mask and it's almost like a... I don't know, bro. It's just like a, that cost. It's that costume since I was a kid. So I can see them definitely doing that or, you know, just having trick or treaters not even be terrified of Ghostface. Maybe like, hey, there's um Ghostface. They don't even know that this is the real Ghostface out here. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know. I've also heard rumors that possibly they're saying that Scream Six could take place around Christmas time. That's a no. I don't want to see that. I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't care what anyone say. I don't want to see Ghostface. Um, leave at the fucking Santa Claus. I don't want to see no ghost face and no white snow just walking around and just running. I don't want to see that's doing too much. Um, they said that they saw somebody, you know, with a Christmas ornament on or whatever. So, I just don't think that will fit Scream. Stick to sunny days and, you know, just nice summer looking type days. Um, fall is even nice, you know. You know what I'm saying? Possibly, like I'm telling you guys that we could possibly have Scream take place. Um, Scream 6 take place with Halloween time and stuff. So, man, I think that would be sweet. Uh, this is a time for them to, I feel like they can pay, like, respect to a lot of horror icons if they have, like, a Halloween party. Um, I don't know how that goes with licenses and stuff of that nature. But, um, you know, like, Freddy Krueger in a party. You know, that's Wes Craven's, you know, that's his property. That's his film. So, that would be cool to see, like, a Freddy Krueger in a party or... Man, I think that will even be well. That's no, nah, that's doing too much. See, I think too hard. I feel so. I think that I was about to say, man. I know you guys probably gonna laugh. What if Ghostface kills someone with a Michael Myers mask on or something? But I don't know. With the cape on though, that is just that's just cringy to me. So no, don't even you know. But like I said, man, I was telling Killjoy Jake. I think that would be cool. <coughs> Maybe if, even if they have like a frat, a Halloween frat party with all the college kids in one house. Um, and, you know, say if, man, say if they have a scene, right? Say if Chad's in the kitchen or something. He's like, hey, man, can you pass me the punch? And it's someone dressed up like Ghostface, but he gets like this PTSD moment. It, it doesn't even have to be Chad. What if it's like Tara or someone? And she looks up. And his ghost face, someone dressed like Ghostface, she has this PTSD moment. She's like, no, I can't go back through the like, She has like a crash out moment. But she's like, she, maybe she goes outside and Sam talks to her like, are you okay? It's over with. Like, you know, because obviously Sam's going to be in a better place, maybe. And you know, she's, you know, it's over with. And you just hear everyone scream like, ah! And guess what? You see all these ghost face running out. Ghost face really kills someone. So she thought she was going through a PTSD moment, but she really, it was really, it was, she had a feeling the guy that gave her the punch or, you know, passed or something, it was really Ghostface or the he, the she, whoever, you know, Ghostface can be multiple people, but yeah, man, that would be crazy. Or even if this happens, you guys, maybe what if the final scene could take place, you know, in a party? 
And then, you know, you know how almost how that stew house vibe was. It's like, but they're having a party. Like, yeah. You know, even with the ghost face stuff going on. But people still decide to dress up and be, like, you know, it's always that group of fucked up people that decides to dress up like the killer that's going around killing. And, and it, it's like multiple of them. And this is the ending. And it's like, man, people are getting stabbed and stuff. And it's like seven ghost face in the party. Um, It's like seven ghost face in the party. Shout out to Shake Machados because he also touched on this. And, um, man, seven ghosts facing the party and they don't know who is who. They, they, none, none of them take their mask off. And it's almost like, you know, like I said, going back to the Scream 2 scene when they're pulling off the mask and everyone's looking, it's like, man, but you, it's, uh, they're not. It's just six of them. You don't know who to shoot. You have one behind you or something, one just stabs you up or something. That, that's what I'm saying, man. They can go crazy with that idea of it being on Halloween, especially like with trick-or-treaters, Halloween parties. People are going to have masks on the Halloween parties. Um, I'm excited to see if they go through with this, man. I'm excited in general, bro. Like, fucking Scream 6 is... New York in New York City, man. Like this is very different. The horror community is definitely taking steps up and elevating, man. Because I feel like, man, like I told you guys, um, Radio Silence has to make this their own movie, but still pay respect to West. But make this their own movie. I think it will be a success, man. I think it will be a great screen movie. Um, but yeah, I think that would be crazy, man. If they go through with the Halloween, you know, idea with Scream Six because. You know, just off the fact how the costumes was when I was younger. Like, this is reality. I'm, all screen movies and sound. When I was younger, everybody was ghost face on Halloween. So, man, he can he can really do like do that and get away with a lot of stuff. Because, and you end up, maybe we get a scene when an innocent person gets fucked up. Like, they're beating his ass and they take him. Man, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ghost face, man. The whole time, you just see someone running down the street. And there's the real ghost face. Like, stuff like that. But comment down below what you guys think about Scream 6 possibly taking place on Halloween and just the Halloween season, man. I think it's going to be cool um, for sure, man. But this is the end of the video. I like scary. Don't forget to hit me up on my social medias at I like scary on Instagram. And I like scary 77 on TikTok. Brand down on Facebook. I like scary on Twitter. And don't forget, you guys can always become a member of the Patreon to get exclusive content and benefits of the channel. Also, right there next to it says where it says subscribe. You can click join to become a member and, you know, get exclusive content and benefits. And in a live chat, you get a nice little icon next to your name, man. With that being said, watch some horror movies. Stay scary out there. Love you guys.